All right, so what is Jing? Well, Jing will allow you to do basic um, screen captures. That's like screen grabs or screenshots. That's called a lot of different things, as well as screen casts, and that's basically a recording of your screen, much like I'm doing right now, though, because I want to use Jing and show you how to use Jing. I'm actually using a tool called Camtasia, so I can record this. Now, Camtasia is also made by TechSmith, so down the line you might want to upgrade to that. But Jing, if you go to JingProject.com, right here, you can download it over here. It's cross-platform. There's a free version and a pro. I recommend you start with the free, but then later you'll want to go up to the pro if you want to be able to have better quality um, screencasts as well as the ability to have webcam. So in this case I've already downloaded Jing and so it, this little sun is what Jing is and so I can move it from side to side or the top on a PC and a Mac it's usually in the top corner and so when I mouse over the sun and I click on capture I get these um, crosshairs so I can do the whole screen but a lot of times I'll just pick click I'm holding down my mouse I'm clicking I'm dragging then I let go of the mouse and then this area in here is what's gonna be taking a picture of. so if I click on capture image it takes a picture of whatever is in that area and I can then draw and do all kinds of things with it and I can say whatever I want to say so this can become really handy when you need to really annotate or point out to students or um, colleagues or really anyone for that matter um, what you see and where they need to click or what they need to be really focusing their attention on so then when I'm done I can um, I have a few other tools I could use but in this case if I want to share this I can name it and then I can send it to screencast I can save it to my computer or I can copy it. So in this case, if I want to send this to Screencast, Screencast is the account you set up when you download Jing, and that allows you to upload things to Screencast and to host it there. And that little thing, it came really quick, but it basically tells me that it pasted the URL to what I did. So if I paste this in, that's the URL, and now I get this. And so this is now hosted online at Screencast, and I can send this URL a shortened version to anyone I want to see it. Now if I want to I can also take a screencast or a screen capture and then I can save it to my computer. So it saves it as a ping file and then I can email that if I didn't want to use screencast. And then last but not least I can always take a screen capture and I can copy it. Then I can go into an application of my choice so let's take PowerPoint or it could be your email or it could even be Word and you can paste it in there. So now I can go into PowerPoint and I can right click and paste and that screen capture was just pasted. So that's one of many ways. All right. So the other thing is when I take a capture I could also have this option to record video much like I'm doing now. So I can click on video and it counts me down, tells me my mic is on and then everything I do with my mouse it's recording and so if I want to tell students how to um, maybe use the image tools and PowerPoint I can show them how they click on this then they'll go to format and they can add a nice drop shadow I could show them how to add a border and so whatever it might be and so but even beyond that you could also use this to narrate PowerPoint presentations but I'm going to stop this and I'm going to preview. And so you can see everything I did. So now, once again, I'd want to name it. And then I can upload it to Screencast. And it's uploading. And it's going to tell me when it's done that it has pasted the URL to the video once it's online. And so in this case, you'll see that really it's Jing and Screencast together that make it so powerful. See, it says your link has been pasted. So now if I go to this, if I right click, so it's on my clipboard and I paste that, I hit enter I can now share my recording with the world and here it is online and so the other thing I can do is I can actually narrate my PowerPoint so I can go to Jing and I could pick most of this page, I usually always leave an area in the bottom so I can easily get to my controls and then I start and I go okay so today we're gonna talk about Jing Jing is an easy screen recording 
and then you would just advance through your slides and you'd narrate them just like anything else the big thing to keep in mind is you have five minutes and so you'll see your timer coming and when you get the last minute it, it will turn red and during this if you wanted to if you have the pro version of Jing which I do I can click on this little webcam option and then I can initialize my webcam and then I can always click on it and toggle back and continue on with my PowerPoint so that's the basic of um, how you might narrate a PowerPoint with Jing then when I'm done I hit stop I could have hit pause at any moment if I needed to take a break for something to load I could save this and it will save it as an mp4 file because I have the pro version but in this case I'm just gonna upload it to screencast and when it's done it's gonna paste the URL to it so I could paste that in my course I could send that to people via email or I could go to screencast and get my embed code and embed that in my course I click on this and so I can always go to check it out and preview it and it looks good I can see this is my third example right here and if I click on it and screencast I have here show details if I go to show details this is where I can go and get my embed code so under the share I have my embed code right here or the URL so maybe later on I want to share this with um, people and so that's the other way that I can then paste this into my course and embed it much like a YouTube video be aware though that if um, you always want embed code you could always change if you go to more and preferences you can always customize your buttons and so you can make sure that you um, get other things out of it so because I have pro when I click new I have a lot of options that I could um, that I could use here so be aware of all the different things that you can do with Jing and so this is um, just a quick little overview of how to do basic um, screen captures as well as screencasts with Jing thanks guys